Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to set a default credential. This is for the Node.js code. Uh, when we say default credentials, right? Uh, so let's think of a scenario. You've gone through the uh, one of the document from the Dialogflow ES site. Uh, you want to integrate through the code, right? And you see that, okay, they have given the code and you copy the code over here so let's say this is the code which i have and this is for the uh, dialog for project which i have over here when you say hi it will return something like hi welcome to xyz right so everything is done now i will run that code node uh, what is that detect intent right so i'm supposed to get the response back right but what we get is something like could not load the default credentials okay so first of all uh, don't worry about the code this code is already uploaded uh, in the github right and also i have added a few notes over here how to access it right first what, what we will do is to uh, we will load the uh, service account right so for that uh, which basically means what is in the gcp right uh, if you go to your project if you go to your api service and credentials from here you can download the uh, that service account key right but what we will do is we will set it automatically right so for that what we will do we will go over here uh, there are some commands we have to run first of all you have to install the gcloud if you have not done so oops control c control v okay so now what it will do is it will logging to the gcp through gcloud okay now what it does is automatically pop up something like this uh, we will click over here and it will ask for some permissions right so i will allow so once this is done we can go back to our console so it will say it has been installed and by default it has set to this uh, uh what is that project id if I go back to my dialog flow, right? So this is my project ID. Same thing over here. Okay, now, now let's say you have multiple uh, projects and this is not the project ID where you have worked on, right? So you can use a project list, okay? And then you can set the project if you want to do that. So let's say I will just directly run this command so that uh, you know what I'm talking about. and my project id was something shit over here did it so now what it will do is it will set that project uh, id if it is not the uh, same by default okay now what we will do is we will download the uh, what is that uh, service account key okay so i will go over here and just why it is not getting copied okay now what it will do it will download that uh, certificate again it will ask you all those permission that uh, is required like to go from the google authority and download for you and all those thing uh, so once that is done so if you see over here it says that the file or the default credentials has been downloaded and it has been put over there so let me open this location so if you see over here that default credential has been downloaded it is the time which is i am right now recording uh, and now since my work is done now what i will do i will run the detect intent again and this time we should be getting uh, a response from the api instead of the error that we got over there in the top so let me go to the top where was so earlier we got something like could not load the default credentials now let's see what we get in the response where it is uh, see over here we got the response as how can i help you so yeah this is how we can set uh, or we can load or set the default credentials 
uh, which is required for Dialogflow side uh, to be run any API or SDK code. Hopefully you like the video. Thank you.